Hey everybody, this is Johnny MS, and today I'm going to talk about, I've had MS for nine years, and I'm going to talk about um, using a cooling wrap for the first time. I'm sure everybody uses them, I just have never really given them a chance, and I think I've found the best way to use them, and I want to share with you now. So what was going on is that I was going to a kid's party. I've been feeling pretty good these days. So I was like, I'm going to attempt to go to a, a, it was a party at a playground, but it had a lot of shade. So I, it, it was at a playground, but I couldn't really go indoors anywhere. So I couldn't be in the AC. So what I did is that I sat in the shade with, with my little cooler and uh, I'm like a couple neck wraps. I'm I'm gonna call them neck wraps because I put it around my neck and not just hung it on my neck, which I've done in the past. Not a good idea because your shirt gets really wet. So I was gonna attempt my my like goal was for let's say two hours to be able to be outside, have have my little cooler, sit in the shade, talk, you know, like talk talk with the other parents and um, be able to walk back to my truck which is about I'll say 50 feet from where I was sitting so the issue in the past has been I can't walk back to my truck so it was going to be really hard so my goal was to be able to stay cool enough to make it back to my truck at the end of our two hours so my obstacles were not all obstacles but I was sitting there and I just had to remember to every 20 to 30 minutes I would change my little neck wrap and I'd put it in the cooler and then I'd grab another one and I'd put it on kind of like a scarf I'm gonna go yeah like a scarf like you'd wrap your neck with a with a scarf in the uh, winter but this was actually a cool wrap right and so every 20 to 30 minutes, I would change it out. So I'd have to remember, I'd set, I'd set a timer on my watch um, and I would do that. And the other thing was the shade. So I was sitting in the shade, but the shade would move, right? So I'd have to pick up my chair and I'd move it another 15 feet or 10 feet or something. Um, so that was, those were the two big issues is that I'd get to talking and then I'd be like, oh, I need to move. So that's the issue. Um, I didn't drink any water or anything because I didn't want to have to go to the bathroom. Um, and if, if I drink water, I usually have to go to the bathroom like right afterwards. So I was like, I don't think there's one around here. So that was my big deal is that I couldn't really go indoors anywhere. So those those were my obstacles. Um, I did pretty good. Um, I set a timer. I used the, the like 30 minute timer on my phone or on my watch and it worked really well. So after all of this, it ended up uh, being good. So I was able to walk back and take my chair. I was able to walk back. I had like a little lunchbox cooler or a lunchbox that I was using with some ice and some water in it. So that was how I dipped my neck wrap. So I was able to walk back to my truck. I, you know, I wasn't good walking. I mean, I was still sort of walking kind of iffy. Uh, I'll say it, um, it was a limp, but um, I was able to make it back um, slowly and I was fine. I I carried my chair, I carried my little cooler, I had my little five-year-old with me and we made it back. So it was all, all in all, it was good. So what is different about this time than in the past? So in the past, I mean, I'm in Texas, so it was probably 95 outside. Um, I more than likely wouldn't have even gone. I'm like, I can't be outside like that in that heat. Heat is not my friend. So I would have missed my my little girl's party. I would have been sad. I would have been bummed. I, I'll say bummed, not sad. I would have been bummed that I missed it. I couldn't take any pictures and that sort of thing. Um, and I just feel bad because my wife is always the one taking her and I want to go and and be there and I want to see her have fun. So that was nice. Um, I got to actually 
be be a dad, right? So um, that is what changed. I wouldn't have even done that in the past, but even at 95 outside, in the shade, I can use a neck wrap as long as I change out my wrap every 20 to 30 minutes, and it it all in all it turned out really well. So I will highly I would highly highly recommend that you do that if you haven't already. I bet most people do it. I just haven't really given it time because the first time I just. I just had it on me and I didn't really do much with it and my shirt got all wet and I was just really like this is dumb and it and it's not working and it really didn't last that long like you know after about 30 minutes it would just kind of kind of dry up well this time I made a conscious effort to keep it cool and that's what made a huge difference so I'd recommend it to everybody I hope all of you have an awesome day bye bye